Hi there, Danny from BaseJapanDirect.com uh, with another naked review, this time of this fresher personal bass. It's a precision bass uh, from the late 70s or early 80s and uh, it's available now. Just click that link if you want to if you want to chip in there and get it. And um, today's review is just uh, without a loop, just just dead simple. Uh, I'll do pick finger style and slap. Um, and now I was with the tone down. Um, so this bass is a really good neck and it has very good tuning pegs too. Uh, it's one of their their higher range ones, um, and it's uh, it's it's operating very very well. Um, they did keep costs down though by making plywood bodies with laminate tops, um, but uh, it still sounds pretty damn good. Great pickups and. Um, great materials on the neck here this rosewood fretboard is lovely uh, with pearl inlays good fretwork as good as any of the uh, greco um that i've that i've seen um and uh the neck is rugged stable um this looks like it's a quarter sawn piece actually uh looking at the grain it's quite tight so quarter sawn maple neck for extra stability Let's just do some tests. So that's slap with the uh, tone down, slap with the tone up. Nice. So that's that's great and tone down. Let's just do some finger style. Um, So yeah, that's nice. Uh, that's with the tone down, tone up. So that's nice, uh, lovely uh, finger style, tone down. Very, very nice indeed. Um, it just plays beautifully. Uh, it's got a, a nice low action, this one has. Um, and uh, very silky to the touch. Just a bit of pick. Um, nice aggressive. It's with the tone down, that was. Um, Tone up. There you go. Simple. You get the 
idea. It's a P base. It's functional. Uh, it comes with um, a uh, just a just a generic gig bag. This one, um, and uh, it's relatively inexpensive. At uh, what is it? We got this one up at thirty. 38,000 yen, something like that. It's about $350 or something like that. It's not much. And it's in, this one is in, I would say this is in, for its age, it's, it's good. It's good. It's a few scuffs and dings, nothing much. Um, pretty clean indeed. Um, you know, the only issues is that we've changed one tuning peg because it was missing, well, it wasn't missing, it had another tuner on it but that didn't match uh, the clover was a different size and everything this one's the same size so at least it looks pretty uniform um, this is a common um, a common problem that happens on a lot of these old bases is that uh, from the e-string tuner um, actually I don't know if this is actually a crack or not um, it looks like it might might be uh, whatever it is it's been repaired and it's stable but uh, the neck is one piece maple but what they've done is they've added they've on the headstock there are two pieces of maple glued on either side here and here and uh, the e-string tuner screw is almost exactly where that has been joined and I think it I think that cracked at one point maybe it's hard to tell but if it did it's been it's been fixed and it's completely stable it's not causing any problems at all so yeah good condition um, fully functional sets up really nicely all original except for that one tuning peg that's it thanks for watching and uh, by the way don't forget to follow us on Facebook Twitter and uh, all our social media avenues visit the website etc etc again you can get this base at the link